Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Retinut, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 worst Lego gift ideas for 2017. Now, I want to say that these are my opinions, and I know some people will disagree with them, but I'm going to try and reason why I think they're bad, and hopefully, it will help you save yourself from a mistake with a gift. And if you've already purchased these, oh well. Um, so, uh, top 10 in no particular order, just happened to be the order I wrote them down in. Now I did a top 10 best ideas, if you're curious, I'll put a card up and a link at the end of the video, uh, so you can check that out. All right, uh, first a rule of thumb, uh, Lego pieces, at least in the US, usually retail about for about 10 cents a piece in a set. So if you see it below that, it's probably a decent deal or they're just small pieces. And if it's above that, it's definitely a Wait for it to go on sale set. This one will be geared towards boys and girls, men and, you know, men, child, and women of various ages, but, and also the price difference, or the prices didn't really have a say. I just picked the ones that I thought were bad ideas for various reasons, and we'll walk through them. So, again, in no particular order. Number 10, the Lego Advent Calendars. Now, you ask yourself, aren't these made for Christmas? Why would you give them as, why would they be bad gifts? I'm not saying they're bad to give. I'm saying they're bad to give for Christmas because the whole point is being able to open one every day throughout the month of December, you know, in anticipation of Christmas. So if you give them to them as a Christmas gift, you'll either have to wait until next year or, you know, they'll open them all at once, which defeats the point and it just makes them an expensive set with no real value. But if you give them to them like for Thanksgiving or a birthday or something to where they can enjoy the whole point, they're good. All right, number nine would be the Lego Jungle Sets. These came out uh, this summer and is their theme, I guess, for this year. Last year, I forget what it was, but they do this every year, they come out with a theme. Now they're not bad sets, but if you're only giving them like one, it's just like this random thing that doesn't really make any sense with anything and it doesn't really jive. So it, again, if you're gonna get together with the family and give the kid like the whole series, now that would be cool. But if you're just giving them one to kind of like play with, it's not a good thing. All right, number eight would be any Minecraft set. Now I know kids like Minecraft and I don't disagree with that one way or the other, but the sets are expensive and they are mostly basic bricks. So if you're gonna do that, I would just save your money and get one of their, uh, I think they're called classic sets now that just have the bricks in them. And you can build your own Minecraft thing like the whole point of the game. But the sets, you yeah, know, they're expensive and there's no real like replay value with them because it's just a bunch of big bricks that don't do anything. All right, number seven would be the Lego Death Star. Now this one retails for $500. It's like crazy expensive. Even at like 25% off, it's still not a good deal. So <laughs> save your money. Don't get this one no matter how cool and epic you think it would be. Just Someday it'll go on sale and we'll be able to get one, but until then, it can happily stay on the shelf. Uh, number six would be the brick heads. Now, if you're going to collect them all, that's cool. I, I think they look great. I've seen collections of all of them, or even most of them. They look great. I happen to have all the Mega, Mega Blocks or whatever they call themselves now, series uh, called like Kubros or something but they're similar, but if you're buying a kid like one or two and it's not like their thing, like if you're buying them Iron Man or something because they like Iron Man, that's fine. But if you're buying it just because it's like 10 bucks and it's a cool Lego set, no, don't do that. They won't get any play out of it. It'll take 20 minutes to build at the most and then it'll just sit there. There's no real replay or fun value to it. So anyway, and number five, is the girl set. Um, I, I like that Lego's trying to appeal to girls and everything, but I just feel like they're going about it in the wrong way. Um, these sets contain a bunch of these little bitty 
things that just get lost everywhere. Just say, if I had a daughter or I have a niece and I wouldn't buy her any of this stuff, she wouldn't play it. They're, they're too small, too intricate for kids to really deal with. They don't even display well and you can't really build something else out of them because there are all the little pieces are geared towards that one set. So yeah, just avoid all the girl sets, except for elves. Elves are a different story. They have cool dragons and stuff. Number four would be buying them any movie set because they like the movie. Now this includes like Batman, Ninjago, or TV stories like the Minecraft stuff that I mentioned before, or any of the superheroes, or any of that. If you have like, again, the whole collection, they look neat, but if it's just like one little thing, it's like 10 minutes and you're done. There's not really, you can't rebuild it into anything else and all this fun stuff, but again, if you have a whole bunch of them on display or something, they look awesome, but just one random set, or even two or three, it's harsh. And number three would be the police and coast guard sets. About 10 years ago, they put out the police and firemen and all this sets that were actually good. These ones, they've dumbed them down as much as they can into like this little dollhouse thing. It's very basic and generic and you can't really do anything with it. You have to buy two or three of them to build something that makes sense as a police or coast guard set. Back to my point, if you're only getting one, it doesn't make sense to have like one little Coast Guard helicopter and not have the base and the boat and all this other stuff to go with it. The same thing with the police station. If you don't have the car or the helicopter and all the other crap that goes with it to make up the series, it's just this one little set sitting out there that you can't really do anything with. All right, number two would be the Batman movie cars. Again, if you just have one, it's just like this one car sitting out there. And if that's what you like, that's cool. If you have like a thing for the Riddler or the Joker or Batman or uh, penguin or whatever they are, the other ones are. Um, that's cool, but they have like 20 of them. So if you only have one, it's kind of weird. But if you have them all, you can have little Batman fights and all this fun stuff. Or if you get like a Batmobile and one or two little cars, that's cool. But if you're just getting a one set, avoid the Batman cars. And the number one, again, and not necessarily in any order, would be any Star Wars set. Sure, I got a couple scoffs with that, but my point here is more any Star Wars set that's not on sale. Um, they obviously overpriced these sets because they have to pay a big royalty to, I guess, Disney now. And so, if they're not on sale for 20 to 25 percent, you should probably just avoid them. The BB 8 would be a good set, but at 100 dollars, it's been on sale for 80 for the past couple months. It probably still is, I just haven't looked. That's an example. And all these other ones are priced over so that they can put them on sale, sale for the holidays and still make whatever profit margin they need, which is fine. I mean, it's their right to market how they see fit, but if you wait until they go on sale, you'll be able to buy obviously more or save money. And during the holidays, they usually do have pretty good sales. And especially after Christmas, they have really good sales. Yeah, the Star Wars sets are awesome. I have a whole room full of them, but I don't buy them once they're on sale. If you're not buying a bunch, it really doesn't matter if you save two or three dollars on one set, but the big ones, it's definitely worth waiting to see if they're on sale. And believe me, they will be sometime between now and Christmas. All right, so I guess that wraps it up. Let me know what you think of my choices and let me know some other sets that you think are bad or good or if you completely disagree and want to rant at me, I'd love to have that below so I can put it in a My Wife Reads Crazy Comments video. So yeah, let me know what you think. Just remember to keep it real. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.